My book is about how I really wanted to have a family more than anything, and I did it a bit backward. I adopted a little girl, and then several years later I got married, and I was so driven to create family, I wanted it more than anything. And then several years later, I found myself only wishing I could get away from this family that I had assembled. I found many mothers feel this way. Because when you put together a family, you have a fantasy of having a family. It's this huge project. Then you achieve it. And then it's just the day-to-day -day slog of getting through it, <laughs> which isn't as exciting. I thought that was surprising that I felt that way. I didn't expect to feel that way. And every single mother I talk to tells me they feel the same way. Then a miracle happened and I was able to escape them for a month. My daughter went to camp and my husband had to be away on business and I just spent the time reflecting on how I put this family together and what the whole journey and the experience had been like up till then. And so the book is all about reflecting on that, um, remembering stories that I've told people for a long time, putting it all together, just seeing where it took me after a month. I've spent a long time figuring out how to make comedy work, you know, from being on Saturday Night Live and, and also doing a lot of stage work and stand-up and monologues and things like that. And so I've gotten a little bit better at knowing that something's going to be funny. For example, when the event happened where I told Mulan how sex occurred and the way she was responding to me, I, could, I, I knew right away that it was funny. <laughs> There's some things I write I think is, is going to be funny and then when I read them, to other people, they, they aren't as funny. Then there's things that I don't think are so funny, but somehow in the reading of it, it becomes funny. But it's a real give and take process that takes a really long time. I guess I would want readers to know, if you're a mother and you have a kid that's still at home, I totally get how that is the hardest job on the planet. And I'm doing it too. And I think that every mother wants this job more than anything and also probably secretly wants to escape this job <laughs> a lot of times. And my book is a way to get escape for a little bit from motherhood and maybe also reflect on their own life. How did they get to where they are too? Let me think of something better than that. What do I want readers to know? I thought that was a good answer. Oh, you did? Okay, that's a good answer. Okay, good. <laughs> okay. Yeah, that, what I said.